All right, I got something to say about this mini semiconductor bear market. For the last couple months, Wall Street learned to love to hate the chip stocks. The whole group's down almost 22% from its highs on July 11th, as represented by the SMH. That's a key semiconductor ETF. Many individual names have come down even harder from their highs. Intel is off a staggering 63%. Micron down 45%. AMD's lost almost 40%, just to name the most egregious examples. Now, some of that's simply because the chip stocks got overheated. While the SMH may be down 22% from its highs, it's still up over 25% year-to-date, comfortably outperforming the SP500. They rally too far, too fast, and need to come in. On top of that, you've got these pervasive worries about AI spend. For the past few months, we've been hearing that the companies spending fortunes on AI infrastructure simply aren't seeing enough of a return yet, and they might start dialing back their investment at some point. Now, I don't see much evidence of this, though. The bears will point to NVIDIA's failure to report a spectacular revenue beat, but that only happened because their new AI chip, Blackwell, got delayed. They are having trouble producing it at scale. That's totally reasonable. But they've basically solved the problem now. Supply problem, not a demand problem. Demand is off the charts. Finally, you've got people working worrying that we're headed into a recession, which could hit all kinds of tech hardware and trickle down to the semis. But the Fed's about to cut interest rates next week. And an easing cycle will bolster the economy. Bye, bye, bye. Plus, this very evening, we got a startlingly critical, a good report from Oracle. And a lot of the good news came in concert with data centers for AI. Hey, not bad. In the end, I think the chip stocks have sold off way too hard. Every reason we had to like this group earlier this year remains intact. The AI spending boom is very real. There's a ton of money being spent to build out the infrastructure, as we heard from Oracle this evening. More important, there's more to chips than AI. For the past couple of quarters, we've been exiting a period of oversupply in the semiconductor market, and we're now finally seeing some excellent sales growth. Yes, we're past the point of equilibrium. We're going up. The semis just had their four straight months of sequential sales growth in July. Do you really want to abandon this group just as we're coming out of a supply glut? Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.